Hey everyone, this is Alex and today we're going to optimize Lightroom Classic. We're going to look at performance, how does it work, and I'm going to tell you how to make it better piece by piece. Also a couple of little tricks in Lightroom itself, how to make it a little bit faster. Unfortunately, there are some things that actually do not make Lightroom faster and we're going to prove that right now. Obviously, if you're watching this video, thumbs up, of course, right away, and subscribe. If you have any questions, write them down below after watching the entire video. So on the website of Adobe, there's actually a page exactly saying this, how to optimize your Lightroom. There are a couple of things that are interesting there. We're going to go point by point and we're actually going to test it. So yeah, there's a couple of graphs in this video, pretty amazing, but here's the summary. The biggest change you can make is upgrade your CPU. End of the video. Yeah, you can you can close the camera. It's it's done. Video is done. Okay, I'm kidding. There's more than that. But this is going to be the thing that will make a bigger impact. One of the things that Adobe actually write in the, the official optimize your Lightroom, they say that you should update your version of Lightroom to get better performance. Okay, let's test this. So in this case, exporting 10 raw pictures, version 8.2 is slower and it takes 81 seconds. And what I did is just upgrade Lightroom. And now with version 10, it's actually 72 seconds. It's about 10% faster with version 10 compared to eight. But what about other operations in Lightroom? Are they faster or slower? in different versions of Lightroom. So I did a little test. So I wrote an actual plugin for Lightroom. So I coded in Lua and learned how to interface with Lightroom. And I'm gonna show what that plugin does exactly in a few seconds. And these are the results. When you're going for version 9.2 to version 10, and this is on my old machine, well, it takes more time for these operations to complete, which is weird. So. You gain some and you lose some, I guess. So what does that test does? And I'm gonna explain it very briefly. Let me show you in Lightroom. So I'm in Lightroom right now. This is a picture of uh, sun rising. And the thing what the plugin is doing, it's taking a couple of these values to the right and it's putting them to zero and then incrementing them until they are on the top. So just goes like this and it goes up to the top and then goes to the other one make the same thing so it's gonna do that for a lot of values not all of them but and now i'm doing it manually because the test only takes a few seconds and that's what the test is doing so this plugin is just a test case to prove if it's working or not and to prove if some operations or slower or faster. And I've done that on three different machines and it's always consistent like that. Perfect for the test, not perfect for Lightroom. So what else does the Adobe Lightroom page tells us to do? Well, they do ask for a 64-bit multiple core processor. Uh, is it saying, yes, yeah, six cores or more. For best performance, up to six cores. But actually, Lightroom will be able to use a little bit more than six cores. Uh, especially when you're doing some extractions or exporting files. And we're gonna go to budget systems. They are computer builders and they build workstations and machines. They did this kind of test because they have a lot of samples. In red, you have AMD's processors, which are the new one. And in blue, you have the Intel processors, which are also the newer ones. Their test is actually way more extensive than what I do with my plugin. It can give you a good idea of how your processor may scale and you see that the lowest processor of AMD which is the 5600X 6 core and I'm gonna highlight it there well he's beating the best of the best of the Intel cores and that's not awesome for Intel I would definitely recommend if you want to upgrade your machine to go AMD in the 5000 series but I'm gonna test it of course and I did and let's see the graph. So you can see clearly that with the old machine, which has four cores, it took 40 seconds. And with the new machine, it took only 12 seconds. 
and that new processor has eight cores. Even if it's doubling the number of cores, it's actually 70% faster. So seven years of difference, 70% faster. <laughs> it's not logic. Those new AMD processors are just very good. The next claim that Adobe makes is that you need 12 gigabytes of RAM. So is that enough? Well, I built 100 pictures, one-to-one -one previews, and that took up to 15 gigabytes of memory. And after that, it went down to 13, 14. It will depend on your usage of Lightroom, of course. I have mostly folders of 100 pictures and more. What happens if Lightroom wants to use more memory and you don't have that kind of memory? Well, it's going to swap on the hard drive and, or on the SSD, and that's gonna take a little bit more time. Speaking of pictures, where should they be, right? This should be pictures, you should be, have a catalog, and you should have previews. So those three things are three different things, but someone actually made extensive research on that, Jeff Harmon, and that research is just so awesome. <laughs> he tested all of those scenarios that you can see on the screen. If you don't have your pictures on an external hard drive, you should be fine. A good old mechanical hard drive. It's awesome, it's cheaper than SSD, but you should not put that in an enclosure and use it with your pictures in Lightroom. Obviously, you can do whatever you want. You'll just wait a little bit longer. But what about the graphic card? You should be able to do something with graphics, right? No, unfortunately. And let's see the graphics, speaking of graphics, because there's just nothing, nothing you can do. Exporting files only use the CPU. It's not using the GPU, even if you put GPU acceleration on or off in the performance settings, it does no real difference. And I've tested this with my three machines and it was the same results all the time. <laughs> there is a difference actually with the graphic cards enabled or off when I'm using my plugin that I did. The results are in and are very weird <laughs> because when you put GPU acceleration on and that's the same test that I showed you before, with just going and playing with the numbs, it takes more time when the GPU acceleration is on. And when it's off, it's faster. So it's about 65% faster when you put the GPU acceleration off. Lightroom developers, engineering, what are you doing? That looks like overhead problems. <laughs> and that's a little bit sad. What about Lightroom itself in the performance tab? Let's check it out. This is my performance tab, obviously. Use graphic processor is now off and I feel great about it. <laughs> the camera raw cache setting, if you go to that location, either Mac or PC, and you can look at the properties of that folder, well, just look it up and check out the size. If the size is getting close to your maximum size on that page, well, just increase the maximum size on that page. In the develop section, use smart previews instead of original for image editing. If you check this, your computer will go a little bit faster. I didn't check it because I don't want to use the smart previews instead of the original because I prefer to have visual quality compared to the speed in this case, especially while editing. So if you do less editing, you can actually check that. In catalog settings, there's actually a button right here, optimize catalog. So you can do it manually here. And this is great when you have a lot of edits, but if you go to catalog settings, there's actually an option there that you can ask Lightroom when it quits once a week or every time to optimize the catalog for you automatically. So it's gonna optimize the catalog while Lightroom is quitting. In the preview generation settings, generate preview in parallels, it's going to use multiple cores of your processor. So yeah, you should definitely check this. And that's it for this video. So hopefully that was helpful for your Lightroom installation. You can of course re-watch the video. There's the timestamps if you want to jump to the section. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. So he's gonna optimize the catalog while Lightroom is kidding. Optimize the catalog while Lightroom. <laughs>